Hey everybody, so today I'm going to show you how to create that, that synth you just heard which is kind of an electro house or big room style synth that's been going about quite a lot lately. Um, it is on my fourth refill pack but if you don't have that um, you can create it by following the steps in this video. So first off create a combinator and then we're going to create a line mixer and if you hold the shift key we're then going to create an RV7000 advanced reverb unit now we'll hit show programmer and then hit the tab key and what we're going to do is we're going to take the audio input and connect it to the aux send and the return to the output and then we can use this reverb unit as an auxiliary send um, for the synthesizers we're going to use and um, this allows the sig they still get the clean signal from the synthesizer and this adds on top of it so it doesn't um, make the signal muddy which is quite good so we'll just start off by programming the reverb if you bring the decay down actually sorry if you just first change it to plate now bring the, de the decay down to about a quarter of the way up the high frequency damp you're going to want just under halfway the high EQ you're going to want to bring down a little bit, say to about minus 30, and make sure that the dry wet is 100% or 127. I'm going to enable the EQ, and all we're going to do here is put on some pre delay of about 49 milliseconds. So it takes 49 milliseconds after a note is hit before the reverb kicks in. Um, now, if you go EQ. All we want to do is cut out some of the lows, so drop the low gain by minus 18 and just bring up the low frequency to about there, about 192 and that's it, so you can close that. Now if you right click on the first channel and create a for synthesizer, let's hit the tab key, make sure that's connected, so that should be connected to the first input there. Just going to bring this on top. Um, all we're going to do, this is going to be our sub. So, I'm going to change it to a triangle waveform and we're going to bring the octave down. Um, that is all we're going to do for the actual synth. So, if I play it, it's nothing. It's just a, well, it's just a triangle wave and that's going to give us that subby bassy sound. Um, we are going to Put a little bit of EQ and compression on it. So if you right click on the pot on the four, create a M class equalizer, turn on low pass and param one and two. Um, then we're going to bring up the gain for the low shelf. Say to about four point six decibels, and then for param one, we're going to bring frequency down just under a quarter of the way to about one o four. I'm going to bring the gain down slightly to around minus 4 and the Q all the way up, or even three, yeah, just over 3 quarters of the way up. I'll bring the gain down a little bit. And this is cutting out some of the muddy frequencies. And for Param 2, we're going to bring it down to about 250. And we're going to boost by about 2 decibels. You can muck around with this to get the different kind of bass char characteristics if you want. Um, it's important to EQ your sub bass to your kick drum so they work together. So it depends on the kick drum you're going to be using, how you want to EQ this and where you want to cut and boost. Um, so then we're going to create a compressor. Touch up the input game slightly to about 2. 2.2, the threshold, we're going to want at minus 11, um, and we're going to bring the ratio down to 2 over 2.23 over 1, and then we're going to just bring the release down. So we can just close this because that's that done. So we've got our sub base. So now we're going to put the characteristic 
a sound synth sound on top of that. So if you click on channel two and create another four, just make sure it was connected. I'm gonna bring it down here underneath that. So for this, this is where it gets a bit more complicated. So we're gonna use three oscillators, all of which are wavetable. For oscillator one, we're gonna change it to a synced sign. Bring the octave to three, turn off the X fade, and the position we're gonna put up to 34. Um, then for oscillator two, we're gonna change the octave to five, and we're gonna change the type to PPG bass, um, and the position is at 76. And finally, we're going to use a mixed wave free with an octave of free, and the position is going to be 67. And again, we're going to leave the X fade on for that. Um, we're going to change the balance to 16 for oscillator 1, 2, so more of oscillator 1 is coming through. Um, and we're just going to touch up oscillator free level to minus 1.9 decibels. I'm going to turn on all the oscillators to filter 1 um, and if you put the frequency right up on filter 1 and the res you're going to want to bring up to 62 Um, and then we're going to use filter 2 as well, so if you enable filter 2 by doing this, we're going to create a comb, make sure it's on minus, and the frequency you're going to want on 3.28 kilohertz. The res you're going to want at 28. Um, and then finally we're just going to move on to the envelope section, turn off filter envelope so it's not triggered by the fillers. Um, and the amp envelope, we're going to bring the attack to zero. The decay, we're going to want at 204 milliseconds. The sustain, we're going to want at minus 21.8, so that's fine. And for the release, we're going to want to bring it down to 3.2 milliseconds. Okay, so now we're just going to add some effects. If you create a, a digital vocoder, make sure it's changed to equalizer and bring the band down to 4. And put the shift up to 61. And then we're going to create two distortion units. So, two screen for distortion units. For the first one, you're going to change the damage to 70 and the algorithm is going to be on tube param1 is going to be at 42 so bring that down um, param2 uh, param sorry param2 is going to be on 19 and I'm going to turn on the cut the low is going to be boosted to 24 um, then we're going to use 9, boost 9 for mid and 22 for high. And then we're going to turn the body on. The res we're going to want at 2. Scale we're going to want at 44. Um, auto we're going to want at 99. and the type is going to be E and then make sure the master level is 85 and second distortion unit we're going to turn the damage right down to 17 and we're going to turn it on to digital so this is a bit crusher um, param 1 up to 127 param 2 you're going to want at 110 And finally, the master for this is going to go up to 105. Now, I'm going to add uh, equalizer. 
turn on low shelf prime one two and high shelf just gonna push up the low shelf slightly the one six one I'm gonna boost it quite a lot 10 dB and I'm gonna leave the Q where it is uh, parameter 1 we're going to bring down to around 250 we're going to take a little bit out there about minus, uh, minus 2.9 um, I'm going to leave the Q where it is param 2 going to touch it up slightly to about 2 kilohertz 2.1 uh, push up the gain a bit to about 4 and the Q down a bit to about 4.1 and then I'm going to put boost some highs as well, like that. And I'm going to add a compressor and a maximizer. So for the compressor, 4.1 decibels. Threshold bring down to about minus 21. Um, I'm going to bring the ratio to down to about 2.72 over 1. Um, then we're going to bring the release down and just touch up the output by about 1 decibel. And we're then we're going to turn on the 4 millisecond look ahead, soft clip, input gain up by about. 2.6 decibels and output gain up slightly by about 1 decibels and finally we're just going to add a couple of reverb units and a flanger so just two RV7s set the first one to gated the size you're going to want at minus 45 Um, the damp you're going to want to write down and dry wet you're going to want about 16 and the second one we're going to change to small room the size you're going to want at minus 5 uh, the decay you're going to want to bring down to about minus 24 leave the damp where it is and dry wet you're going to want at about 8 and then finally, going to add a chorus filter, uh, which just adds another characteristic to the sound. Put it on send mode, bring down mo uh, the mod amount. The delay, you're going to want to set to 4. And the feedback, you're going to want to 18. And then, that should be it. You can change um, characteristic of the sound by automating the second filter or even changing these positions of the oscillator. So, there you go guys. I um, hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you next time.